Did you ever do a good value engineering workshop but your client has rejected almost all the value engineering proposals with no reasons? Just watch this presentation to know how life cycle costing could accelerate decision making. Hi, uh, my name is Jacqueline Fahmi. I'm the president of Save International Eastern Mediterranean African Chapter and the president of uh, VECG, uh, Value Engineering Consultants uh, Group uh, in Cairo, uh, Dubai and Jeddah. Uh, it will be my pleasure introducing to you how using life cycle cost uh, calculation in Value Engineering Report could accelerate the decision uh, making process. First, what's LCC? What's life cycle costing? Life cycle cost refers to the total cost of ownership over the life of an asset. It's also known as gradle to grave cost, means from the start to the end of the project life cycle. Life cycle costing is a methodology for the, the systematic economic evaluation of the life cycle cost over a period of analysis. Life cycle costing can address a period of analysis which cover the entire life cycle or a specific period or stage. So uh, it means we can calculate the life cycle costing of an alternative during a specific duration, let's say the first 10 years, the first 20 years, and so on, or during or during the entire life cycle of uh, uh, a project. If uh, it was designed to serve uh, the community for um, 50 years, so this duration represents the life cycle when LCC is applied. Of course, for feasibility studies to compare if uh, this project will be feasible or no. Uh, for budgeting and cost control, for uh, the value engineering and value analysis studies as well, to specify, to set the organization standards, or uh, to compare uh, uh, new prototypes or new systems. It will be um, it will be uh, great using the life cycle cost as a good tool to highlight to highlight the difference between different alternatives especially regarding the cost. Post-occupancy evaluation, to evaluate the post-occupancy, what we are gonna spend uh, when we, uh, we're gonna occupy the facility. Environmental, it's, uh, it's good uh, as well to study the life cycle cost for uh, the environmental uh, projects, uh, for sustainable projects. Uh, lead is a provision of leadership uh, uh, of energy and environmental design. So uh, sometimes um, uh, a lead specialist uh, propose alternatives that, uh, that has probably high initial cost but will be more sustainable. What else we need to know about life cycle costing? We need to know the types of costs. First, we need to know that we have only two types of costs. The first type is the one-time cost, and the second type is the annual cost or benefit. Regarding the first type, which is the one-time cost, it's, it's break down to three different types of cost. The first is the initial cost, or also called the first cost, which refers to the cost necessary to implement a project, including cost of land, cost of construction, cost of new equipment, cost of shipping and installation, cost of renovation needed to install equipment, cost of design, cost of permits, license, and so on. Uh, the second type of one-time cost are cost of disposal or salvage value. Salvage value is the money that can be obtained at the end of the project by selling equipment. So salvage value is uh, a benefit rather than the cost. So at the end of uh, the life cycle uh, of your project, you, you will need probably to pay for uh, the disposal or, or gain money from selling the equipment. Also, we have other one-time costs, which are cost, cost of major repair, 
replacement, alternation or other cyclical improvements. For example, each 10 years we will do a major repair and replacement uh, to maintain the uh, facility. So this was the first uh, type of cost. We have another type of cost which is the annual cost or benefit. These are costs which occur um, every year or several years of the project. Uh, this type of expenses uh, could be uh, break down to two types direct cost which uh, which mean which represents the direct operating cost such as um, labor supervision supplies maintenance material electricity fuel and and so on and of course a direct cost regarding the indirect cost indirect operating costs sometimes include a portion of uh, secretarial expenses, a portion of uh, building rent, and so on. So, what's the difference between the direct and indirect? The main difference is that the direct cost refer to all the costs that we can allocate to specific project, but the indirect costs are the expenses uh, spent indirect. Uh, indirect costs are costs that we couldn't allocate to a specific project. We can say that these expenses uh, were spent in this project. For example, uh, we, if we are in construction uh, company and we have a lot of project and uh, and we are paying annual rent, so so the expenses that we are paying for rent will be prorated to all to all the project that we've done. So accordingly, because we will not be able to allocate these expenses to a specific project. I like so much this photo. Yes, normally the client in the start of the project is, is don't know the exact expenses that he is gonna spend during the project life cycle. It's only the scene part of the iceberg, but what is hidden and this part are the uh, cost what the client normally don't know we have two types of cost we have uh, the cost that we we normally see which represent for our client the capital cost the design fees the land cost the uh, and few uh, and, the, and the license cost or um, other few fees but this is what the client expect and what the client see. But we ha but have a lot of other hidden costs. Normally the client don't know or don't expect our operation cost, occupancy cost, maintenance cost, energy cost, food eating, etc. So our role as value specialist is to highlight our to our clients what are the life cycle costs or what's the order trip costs what are the total expenses that he is gonna spend during the duration in which he gonna own the facility to minimize the risk to our clients the first key concept is present and future consideration for a project we have several uh, types of costs that we should take into consideration. We have the project development, we have the occupancy or use period cost, or we have the cyclical and renewal cost, and we have the project disposal cost. For example, regarding the project development, we have the cost of land, construction, design, interim, uh, financing, and other capital investment could be a part of the project development expenses. Uh, regarding the occupancy and use and use period period it present cost of ongoing facility operation maintenance repair routine replacement as well as owners program or functional use cost this cost continues through the occupancy or use period some may occur during the development and disposal period as well this presentation is per save as per save international Regarding the cyclical or renewal expenses, we have expenses related to uh, the cost of major repairs, replacement, 
uh, alternation or other cyclical improvements that could happen during the project life cycle. Uh, and finally, the project disposal, which could, could be the cost of disposal or the salvage value. Second key concept that we should take into consideration, the concept of equivalence. So, because of the discounting effect, $1,000 deposited in an account paying 10% annual interest compounded annually grows to 10,840 in 25 years. Looked at another way, if 10,840 were needed 25 years from now, it would be necessary to deposit $1,000 now. So this is what we uh, mean by the concept of equivalence. The concept of time value of money. The value of money today is not equal to the same amount of money in the past nor in the future. The concept of time value of money considers the following to be able to convert from uh, present value to future value or from future value to present value. So we need to know the present or future cost, the discount or interest rate, and the lifetime of an investment. To make, an, to make an equivalent value of money of an assessment along its economic life, two methods can be used, such as present worth method and or, or annualized, but uh, due to the shortage of uh, our time frame, I will just explain the first method, the present worth method. To be able to calculate the life cycle costing, we are used to use the life cycle cost worksheet. Worksheet is composed of three main parts. In the first part, we will uh, consider all the capital or initial or first cost. In the second part, we will consider the major repair and replacement cost. And in the third part, we will consider the annual, uh, the annual uh, energy or and maintenance cost, and we have columns. So to be able to calculate the life cycle costing, we are gonna convert all this cost, all the cost to equivalent present worth. So here in this column, we will we will convert all the cost to to the present worth, and then at the end of the table we will calculate the total life cycle cost for each alternative to be able to compare which one is less expensive according to its uh, uh, life uh, cycle cost. So this was a brief about the life cycle costing. And now we need to know how could the life cycle costing accelerate the and Now the question is how could the life cycle costing calculation accelerate decision making. Uh, normally as a part of uh, our value engineering reports, we are used to calculate the life cycle costing for each alternative. So it could be a nice um, highlighting to our client the uh, uh, initial cost of each alternative before value engineering, uh, the initial cost after value engineering, the initial saving the life cycle cost before value engineering and the life cycle cost after value engineering and uh, from the difference we could calculate the life cycle cost saving. Uh, uh, also, we highlight to our clients the life cycle cost uh, annualized expenses per year uh, before uh, value engineering and after value engineering. We were able to uh, calculate uh, from the difference the annual saving for each uh, alternative. Uh, in addition to the average of quality points uh, before value engineering, after value engineering, uh, average of value ratio before and after value engineering, and so on. But let's focus only on uh, what's related to uh, life cycle costing. And by highlighting uh, each alternative, uh, the client will see only uh, the calculation 
related to uh, this uh, this alternative so as per uh, the table uh, for for example for uh, the electrical uh, proposal uh, number seven uh, the initial saving uh, was uh, 573 uh, uh, thousands and uh, the life cycle uh, cost saving was three million so this was from just one proposal also uh, uh, we, we will be able from using the life cycle costing highlight the saving proposed uh, from uh, uh, the application of all uh, the alternatives so as per uh, this report uh, the total saving is uh, also from using um, uh, the uh, life cycle costing uh, uh, calculation we will be able to highlight to our clients the saving by category so uh, uh, this represents the saving uh, from electrical proposal it was uh, 43 million uh, uh, initial saving uh, uh, but in comparison to the life cycle costing it was uh, uh, 145 million uh, uh, will be performed from uh, the application of uh, the electrical uh, proposals also um, it could highlight uh, that the major uh, saving will be performed from electrical and uh, HVAC uh, uh, proposals we can use a lot of infographics to highlight uh, to our clients uh, the saving uh, uh, proposed uh, by by ideas and life cycle cost saving by ideas client can select uh, an idea to say the initial saving or uh, the life cycle uh, saving for each uh, uh, idea uh, also we can uh, uh, categorize the uh, ideas um, uh, according to uh, uh, the trade so uh, as per uh, the graph we see only uh, the electrical uh, ideas to see the uh, impact on uh, initial cost or life cycle cost uh, uh, also we can use uh, Pareto uh, to highlight our to our clients the 20 percent of the ideas uh, uh, that could uh, um, that could save 80% from the initial cost and uh, the 20% uh, of the ideas that could uh, could uh, achieve 80% uh, saving from the life cycle cost. Also, uh, the graph could allow the client to select uh, one, uh, uh, v one idea to see the related uh, calculation. Regarding the infographics, actually, we have a lot of ways to highlight uh, how could uh, the life cycle cost uh, accelerate decision making. Uh, at the end, I wish uh, that this presentation uh, uh, meet uh, your expectation and thank you for giving the opportunity of being with you today. Goodbye.